Hello everyone and today I'm gonna show you how you can get asyncs role delta. Uh, so there is no inbuilt function in windows.h that allows us to do this. So I have made an custom header file called async scroll detect.h. Now you need to download this from the link given in the description and um, you have to paste that in where your C++ file exists. So you can just drag and drop this over there. So the link will be in the description. Don't forget to add it in the same directory. and. Uh, in our program we have nothing but just main method and few header files which are our stream and windows.h so you don't need windows.h because it's already included in this other header file which i made but if you want you can still keep that in and we have kunio.h for getch if we ever need it so in our header file we have included windows.h and c time for getting the time in seconds so we have also defined global variables which are hook and um, its name is mh and our integer which is named as delta so remember not to define any global variables which are named same as them after that we have our get scroll delta method and um, in it we are just setting the hooks and if we were not able to set the hook then we return minus 404 and uh, if we successfully set the hook then we just wait for one second and after that return the delta and then we unhook the hook so this is a bit complicated so i'm not gonna make you do this you can just go ahead and download the header file and then just include it tag include and then remember to use double quotes and then the name of the header file so this will include the header file and then you can freely use the function which is named as get scroll delta so to demonstrate it i'm gonna make a while loop which is running forever and give it one then over here we can get the delta so int d equals get scroll delta and after that you can put if d equals minus one which means the user is scrolling downwards we just print down and new line else if the delta is one we print up and if the delta is something else like minus 404 or zero which means the scroll wheel is idle and not moving either up or down you can just print the delta now we can run this and you can see it's printing zero but if i scroll up it prints up and if i scroll down it prints down up down and like that you can make use of it in your program so that's how you can get the delta and um, that is it for today's video and if you enjoyed watching this video make sure you click that like button also if you're not subscribe then make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, if you want to continue watching my videos then click the video that's showing up right on the screen and bye bye